Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NoobCoder.com and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about the file system module. Now what the file system module allows us to do is work with the file system and what I mean by that is that it allows us to create files, read files, delete files, create folders, stuff like that. So to get started we're going to have to require the file module into our project. So I'm just going to say const fs is equal to require fs. So now that we have the file system module within our node application, let's actually use it. Now, if I hit control B, you can see that all I have is my app.js file within my node.js tutorials folder. So let's actually create a file. So this one's going to create a file. And we're going to say fs.write file. Now, the first argument is going to be the name of the file. So I'm just going to say example.txt. The second argument is what you want to write to the file. So I'm just going to say this is an example. And the third argument is going to be a callback. And this callback is going to have a parameter of error in case anything goes wrong. So I'm just going to say error. And there we go. So let's actually finish writing this. So I could say if error, we're just going to print out the error. Otherwise, we can say file successfully created. So I'm just going to write file successfully created. So now if I was to save this and let's run this node app, you can see that we get files successfully created. And now if I hit control B, it's good not to be in the console when I do that, control B now, you can see that we have a newly created file called example.txt. And if we look in it, we see the data that we wrote to the file. Now that we created this file, let's actually read it. Let's open it up and read it. So if I was to say control B again, and I'm just going to go to app.js and within this else statement, let's put all this code within here. And now I'm going to say fs.read file. And within here, the first argument, much like the write file method is going to be the name of the file that you want to read. So I'm just going to say example dot txt. The second argument is going to be the encoding type. Now I'm going to leave this blank because I want to show you guys what happens when you don't leave an encoding type. And then the third argument is going to take a callback function. And this callback function has two parameters. It has error and it has the file that you actually want to read. Now in here, I actually want to show you guys what the file looks like. So we're going to do the same thing that we did in the write file method. I'm going to check if there's any errors. And if there are no errors, I just want to print the file itself. So now if I was to save this, go to node app. Now you see that the file was successfully created. And then you see that when we print out the file, we get this buffer stream. And then we get this bunch of numbers following it. Now the buffer stream stores data in binary. Okay. So what we need to do is specify the encoding type that we want it to be displayed as. So up here, we're going to go up here and I'm just going to pass in UTF-8. So that's the encoding that I want. And now if I was to save this, go to node app, you can see that file was successfully created and we're successfully reading the contents within the file. 
All right, so now that we know how to create and read files, let's actually cover a few more methods. So what I want to do is start with a fresh example. So I'm just going to comment this all out. So I'm just going to highlight everything, control backslash, and that's going to comment everything out for me. Now what I want to do is let's say that when I created this example.txt file, that I really didn't mean to call it example.txt. Let's say I wanted to call it uh, example2, for instance. Well, I could use the rename method. So I could do something like this. I can say fs.rename. And rename is going to take in three arguments. The first argument is going to be example.txt. And that's going to be the name of the file that we want to rename. The second argument is going to be what we want to rename the file to. So I'm just going to say example two.txt. And the third argument is going to be the callback function, which has a parameter called error. And we're going to do the same thing as we've been doing for all these uh, asynchronous calls. We're just going to say if error. We're just going to print that out to the console. If there's no error and everything went fine, we're going to say successfully renamed the file. So I'm just going to say successfully renamed the file. So now if I hit control S to save, and now let's run this. You can see successfully renamed the file. And it says delete it from this, and that's probably because it hasn't updated yet. So if I close this, and I'm just going to hit Control B. And you can see that within our package explorer that our file has been renamed to example2.txt. And if I open this, it's the same exact file that we created. A couple more methods that I want to go over. So I'm just going to hit Control B. And let's say that once I comment this out, let's say that when I was creating the file that I forgot to add something towards the end of the file. So what do you want to do? I want to append data to the file. So I'm just going to say fs.append file is going to take in three arguments. It's going to take in the name of the file. So I'm just going to say example2.txt. The second argument is going to be the data that you want to append to the file. So I'm just going to say some data being appended. And the third argument is going to be the callback function. And this is going to have an error as a parameter. Pass this in. And we're going to say if error, print it out to the console. Otherwise, we're going to print out that we successfully appended data to the file. So successfully appended data to file. So I'm just going to move this over so you can see. And now if I save this and execute this, so node app, you can see successfully appended data to the file. So let's actually take a look at our file. And you can see that our file has been changed. So before we had this as an example, and then we appended some data to the end of the file. And the last method that I want to cover within this tutorial is how do I delete a file? So for example, we did all this and let's say that I've had enough with this file. I just want it gone. So let's just comment this out. And this is going to be the final method that I go over. So we're just going to say fs.unlink. And the first argument is obviously, you guys should get this by now. It's going to be example2. Example2.txt. And the second argument is going to be a callback function. It's going to have the parameter of error. And within here, if error print it out to the console. If there's no error, we're just going to say successfully deleted 
the file successfully. So now if I was to save this and now execute it, you can see successfully deleted the file. It says up here, deleted from this. So if I close this, and if I was to hit control B to bring up the package explorer, you can see that the file no longer exists.